Hi everybody, this is Susie Libertor, your branding expert and art director of Visions to Images. I am an art director who has invested years mastering the digital design world and was an early insider to the digital marketing space. I learned the twists and turns of exactly how to bring that physical brand presence to the online space seeming seamless through beautiful branding design for a variety of different businesses ranging from corporations to small businesses and even large businesses. Today, I have an amazing person that I'm sharing a story with on my podcast. ...to help women feel unapologetically sexy and uh, through fitness and mind empowerment. So when I was going through my journey, when I was like, I've, I've been an entrepreneur my whole life. And so I owned a big brokerage, real estate brokerage. And then by like 39, everything just came like, well, actually 30, like 37, 38, 39, it was just kind of all like, you know, ball rolling. And then by the time I 39, I was like, oh my God, I'm going into my fourth decade. I look like crap. I feel like crap. I'm miserable. Everything on paper looks perfect. But inside I was just dying. I'm like, I don't know what it was. I don't, I'll call it midlife crisis. I don't care. Yeah, right. I, I was like, this sucks. And then, I, and then I started getting into that. Like everything started to hurt. Like, like my body, like yes. my legs were aching and I'm like, dude, if my, if I don't fix my legs, like I swear in 20 years, you're going to have to amputate this. Cause it's so bad. I'm like, why does it do that? Like, I don't understand. I'm like, I don't work out. Right, <laughs> so right. Why does my leg hurt so bad? Right. But it was the exact opposite. It's because I wasn't working out. Right. If I wasn't, I was, all I was doing was being very sedentary. I was, you know, sitting in my chair. I was a broker. I was a broker and I had an office to run. Like, and I was selling real estate myself, but I wasn't really moved. I wasn't taking care of myself nutritionally. It was one of those, like I have three kids, three little kids. Yes. A cup of coffee in the morning with like that much uh, coffee mate, like and that much coffee, and that much coffee mate. <laughs> that much sugar and that much coffee and so I would have like two of those a day and then by like like 12 like I would do like diet cokes just to get me energy like just to wake me up Mm -hmm. and so now I know I was literally just adding to the problem of me being tired of eating crappy drinking diet sodas and getting my hands on whatever I could because I was hungry I was in the office and or I'd run you know to jack the box whatever or get like I try to go healthy and buy one of those lunch things, but the lunches are so big. You eat it all because you're hungry and then you feel like crap because you're so full. Yes. Right? So I'm sitting in the office like, oh, man, I'm so full, but oh, let me just drink, drink, drink this Diet Coke real quick so I can wake up. Right. So by the time I went to 39, I was like, oh my God, this sucks. Like, like I, like, I can't wear anything cute. Like I, like, I always go to this, these clothes because, you know, so... So anyway, so I wanted to feel, I just wanted to feel better. And so I just went on this whole rabbit hole of just researching and like this lady, I went to date with Destiny. I met this beautiful woman, like she was, and I found out she was 10 years younger or 10 years older than me. I was like, how, like, how is that? uh, Girl, what are you doing? (laughs) What, what are you dipping your face in? Like, what are you dipping your body in? Like, where are you getting all this energy? Like, Jesus. Yeah. So, um. So she, she introduced me to uh, a nutrition line, and that's kind of how I got started. But this nutrition line was very interesting because they had a concept of, like, toxins. And I'm like, what is that? Right. <laughs> I'm, like, what, I'm like, what are you talking about? So, of course, I'm, like, researching. Like, yeah. like what, what is all this stuff? Right. And so um, I had learned about all of that. And, like, okay, so I have to detox. Mm-hmm. And so I just started detoxing, detoxing. And then, like um, – and, and, and in like a, when I started detox, it started to grow, it was a new habit for me. Mm-hmm. So when I started to grow new habits, I started to introduce, I'm sorry, when I started to grow, um, introduce new habits, I was able to crush like old habits, like mm-hmm. coffee, mm-hmm. no more junk food, mm-hmm. um, all of that stuff. And so, um, and so that's where like the brand kind of came because I, I use Facebook as my blog kind of, cause I yeah. was like, I was like, well, nobody else is going to the same thing as me. So I'm right. just going to use Facebook as my accountability. Right. But I started to use Facebook and I was like, oh, okay. And then um, it just kind of like, like fell into this. Mm-hmm. And then 
but I'm very much so, even though it's health and like, I'm into fit, like fitness, like fitness. Right. But I preach like at the, like, I think at like, I don't, I don't know how old you are, but I'm sure you're younger than me, but like at my age going into this last half life of last part of my life, right? Like whatever, going to the gym and being fit is very different from going to the gym being fit when I'm 20. Now it's about, yes, you look good, but it's also being healthy and being like sane in the head and being just like your energy level with your kids and your business and stuff like that. And so when I started to learn about toxins, I was like, this is super interesting. Like, how does it affect us and how to affect our body? Mm -hmm. So I'm really into that. Like my boss body blueprint is six steps. And step number one is to bliss, which means to detox. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so that's kind of how everything came together. Mm -hmm. So I'm very into like, you know, detoxing, get rid of like the fog in your head. And it really creates like an energy, a source of energy in your body that you don't need coffee for. Like Mm -hmm. I haven't drank coffee in like three, almost three years. And I I was addicted to it. You know, that was my, like my, my engine that woke me up in the morning. So I replaced the coffee with warm lemon water. So every morning I wake up, I go on the stove, I put water, I get 16 ounces. I squeeze half a lemon and literally that will kickstart everything in your body. And what is good is it starts to detox. Okay. It starts to detox like every, all your organs, like everything. Just let it run through your system for 30 minutes. Don't eat or drink or anything. And so, so I replaced that bad habit with a new one. Mm-hmm. And so it just became like, right. that makes sense. Part, yeah. yeah. Part of like just being healthy and being mindful. And so, um, and what I would encourage people with, you know, like at this time is do little things like that, right? Like, wake up and drink lemon water. Like I preach that to all my girls, like just drink warm lemon water. It will kickstart everything. Plus like your complexion, like your skin, like everything. And then it's like, then, then now like my fit, like I call it my protective time. Mm -hmm. I started to wake up 10 minutes before my world was, and this isn't a normal, like normal situation, right? About like the chaotic chaos right now. now. Yeah, exactly. Like right now. I used to get up, I used to get up an hour early before everybody else did. And I drank my lemon water. I read at least 10 pages of something just that's, that's like, I call it beautiful words, not novels or, or not like, you know, like, I don't know that I don't ever read those stories, you know, like Mm -hmm. what is that lady's name? I don't know. I don't read anything except for mind lifting energy level lifting type of books. And so by reading 10 pages, it just starts my day so awesome. Like you're just on this another wavelength of just like, of like beautification of world. Like instead of like turning on the news and listening to crap, like, or listening to, yeah, like, or even just, even just having white noise in the background. I know people are like, oh, I need white noise. Like, but still, you're still ingesting that. It's Mm -hmm. not beautiful words. Like I would never want to wake up to people dying, Mm -hmm. people getting murdered. I don't, I don't typically watch the news. I've been watching it more with all of this stuff going on, but I typically never like ever watch the news mm-hmm. ever. But right now there's just so much going on that I want to make sure I'm kind of involved. But at the same time, I turn it off when I can. And what's funny is I'm not a coffee drinker. I do not drink coffee. So you preaching about it is like, yeah, I don't drink it. So <laughs> I've yeah. never, I had it when I was like younger and it, it would like give me the jitters and I would just feel like I couldn't control everything around me. Like it was just so weird. So I always like, I'm a big water drinker. Sometimes I drink the lemon water, but I don't put it on the stove. So I'm going to try that and see, I mean, why not? Yeah. It's so good. Like, yeah, I've been doing it for so many years and it's just like, it's just everything, like my hair, my skin, like everything really? feels better. And it just feels like you're detoxing every morning, right? Like every morning I detox with either that with, wow. um, that's my way. I, I detox with lemon. And then, so the bliss came about was like a detox that I formulated, which is this right here. So I will switch between the lemon water and this because there's so, so much more. This is so much more has like a lot of minerals, vitamins, herbs and stuff like that. And you, is that like a part, are you affiliate of that or what? No, it's a product I I formulated. So my brand line is Boss Body Life. And so, um, so, so what happened was when I started doing that nutrition company, I really loved, but their product was just so expensive. So when I, when I started using the product, it was like, 
uh, I think I paid like $1,100 or $1,200 for all their products. But Aww. out of the 15 million things that they had, this is the one that I know that I enjoyed and I know that created results and it was just different from everything else. Right. So I created my own formula. It took me like eight months to formulate this. And then, um, yeah, so that's like my physical product that I have. And, um, but it's not just about using this, right? There's so much more that goes into health, like, like fitness, like you have to move your body. And, and so what I learned through my journey is that, so I, I have a, I have a digital app. So I have an app in the app store that really caters to women, like, like, you know, just busy, right? Because I was busy, like, you know, I got her and two more. And, um, and I've got work just like everybody else. Right. So I created the seven minute workout. I'm like, I just need people just to move for seven minutes. Cause sometimes seven minutes head, is so quick and easy. Like if you don't have seven minutes to spare, you got issues. Yeah. 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 And it's like, I know some people it's just like, Oh my God, just the thought of going to the gym or the thought of yeah. like working Stop. out is so, so many steps in their head right. that they won't go. So I'm like, okay, so I create an app, I have workouts in seven minutes. So I, so when I started working out, I started doing what's called like high intensity. And so those workouts are literally, I tell people like seven to 14 minutes, sometimes max 20 minutes, 20, 21 minutes that I work out. And they're like, I can't believe, I don't believe you. I'm like, I swear. <laughs> and so I put together a seven minute workout for women and their goal is to go through as many, you know, like start just what, I'm like just start with what, like start with one, do seven minutes. And it's so encouraging. Cause they're like, just like you said, I got seven minutes. Like mm -hmm. even between like boiling, I don't know, asparagus and right, 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 <laughs> right. chicken, right? Like you can do it there. Um, I think the big thing when you go to a gym, like there's a lot of different factors, right? Like there's payment, of course. Then there's, okay, I got to get the kids in the car, get them to daycare or whatever. Then I have to drive to the gym. There's just so much time wasted, I feel like, as parents that we have anxiety and we're like, ugh. But then when people say, oh, work out at home, we're like, oh, I, I'll work out at home and we put it off, you know? Or we say we don't know what to do at home when we work out. So there's a lot of these mindsets that, people like myself go through. So I think it's a great idea. Seven minutes is totally feasible and I haven't checked out your app yet. So I will definitely check it out and um, see what it's all about. Cause seven minutes, you have to be active. And I mean, you have kids, you're active ish and stuff. So you have to be active regardless of what's going on in the world, but you have to be active for your own health and everything. So yeah, for your own sanity and the yeah. endorphins and like the happy hormones that are released. Like, you, like not, females have it. Yeah, you need those hormones to be released, girl. Yeah, like we need our happy hormones. <laughs> like, and this is a time like your body's when you start moving your muscles. Like, there's so much chemistry that goes on. It's just like, and if you do it consistently, it's like it's such a great feeling, especially when you got like. Okay, now now that I did this, I got my day, I got this, and you, and you get the brain fog starts to go away. You know, on top of like making sure you eat right, right? So this is the best time right now to eat right. Cause girl, let me tell you, at the grocery store, man, and that, nobody's buying the Whole Foods. <laughs> I'm like, is everybody stocking up on bread and Hostess cupcakes? Ah. <laughs> the store, cause. Cause those are the things that are gone, right? Like those are the things that are gone in my. Oh man. So I, I, I wrote out this, this email. It's like, and I heard some ladies like, I'm either, I'm coming out of this with a six pack or I'm going to be 50 pounds overweight. I know. I saw something like that. And I was like, Oh man, like you, you don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm like, no, you know, this is the time where you want to, you know, for our own sanity, like we have to keep fit and just seven minutes. Like I tell my girls, like just do seven minutes, try to do two, seven minutes, like 14 minutes yeah just do something and then as far as like your wake up like this is a time where we got time right before it's like i don't have any time right, exactly. i don't have any time like this is the perfect time to start that part of your life like okay so you can do seven minutes build like building that habit of just doing seven and it's like you can do it in this you can do it in your jammies you can do it oh for sure absolutely right 
in your robe. Like, you know, I got girls have face masks on and they're in the robe, like doing their seven minutes. Yeah. It's like just get in the habit of just moving your body. And then eventually you can grow into like something a little bit more and just, just get something started. Cause this is the best time because we're at home and we want to keep our sanity check in check, right? Like it check in our sanity, you know, do our kids stuff, but just make that seven minutes and just do like the warm lemon water in the morning. Yeah. And right now, like the scarcity of, <laughs> Of crap food is there's not a lot. <laughs> so let's let's go get your chicken and your vegetables and like your whole foods, like in the produce section. You know, like start making those mindful, small little changes. Mm-hmm. And um, so I, I I have like I have a uh a, a 27 page like like how to rev up your metabolism. Oh okay. But it has 10 tips in there, but those 10 tips, even though it's rev up your metabolism. It really is about being, you know, because revving up your metabolism will go in hand in hand of being eat, like being healthy, right? Right. So it's like, so I have 10 tips in there that p- girls can just start like tomorrow and just like start. And, and it really is, it's like, like, what can you do in this time as far as like nutrition, all that stuff? It's, you know, it's, it's basically just being healthy, right? Like looking at your plate and making sure so i have a rule of 40 30 30 if i look at my plate of like how to eat so it's for like 40 percent this for 30 percent and 30 percent so it's 40 percent carbs 30 percent protein and 30 percent fats like healthy fats it's not animal fat or anything like that it's like avocados or olive oil um nuts and stuff like that so this is a great time to like implement all of these healthy lifestyles right, right? like you don't want to come into this situation going on out here, yeah. fueling yourself with garbage. Right. Because in our foods, there's so many, so much garbage, so much sugar, and so much just like chemically filled fillers. Right. That we, honestly, we don't know. Like I didn't know, you know, and, and I was, you know, in my, like in my twenties, I was into fitness. Like I competed in fitness shows and stuff like that. So I kind of had like a small background, but right. Fast forward, you know, 20 something years later, I still didn't know like eating the fat free cookies was actually making me fat. Right. right? Or eating the sugar free cookies was right. actually killing me yeah. instead of helping me mm-hmm. because they take all that stuff out and add all these fillers and like right. process. And they, and, they can do that. Yeah. Yeah. And there's no, it's nutritionally bankrupt food. It's literally just shoving things in your mouth causing havoc and that's why at 40 years old my legs started to hurt so bad because I was building up so much toxins and I wasn't moving everything was just sedentary Mm -hmm. and inflammation was happening right and so when I started to learn about inflammation I started to learn about gout and I started to learn about right you know how how like this these diseases and like like I'm no doctor or anything like that but the diseases and like cancer and illness like they they love an acidic environment. So our bodies are either acidic or alkalized. And so I learned to alkalize my body. And I learned that those, those little dirty bastards, cancers, or whatever, illness, diseases, inflammation, they love an acidic background. And probably about 90% of us out there are acidic. Like our bodies hmm. are acidic. And you can, and you can take a little test. Um, it's, you can just go to Amazon or whatever. It's a pH level test to see if okay. you're acidic, acidic or alkaline and you want to alkalize your body. Like you don't want to be acidic because an acidic is caused by just junk food, not moving, right. you know, and all that stuff. So, but in like the health wise, right. When you start going to alkalize, you learn like how to eat, drink water, move your body. And I pro- like, I guarantee you, like, your illnesses will probably start going down. Okay. You know, like I alkaline, like I give my I pH level test, all my kids, my husband, when I learned about it, like we do it at least twice a year, just so I can make sure that we're all like, we're good. But, but right now, like in this world that's happening, like you just have to keep yourself sane and keep yourself healthy, drink the lemon water, yes. you know, like drink lemon water. And when you're making food, like, And there's great ways to make like delicious foods. Like you can look like you can look at a recipe and like, okay, instead of using heavy cream, 
I'm just gonna go use coconut milk, right? Mm -hmm. Something a little bit, and so instead of like heavy butter, there's avocado butter. Someone's right. use avocado butter, you know? So you can, you can always get whatever it is that you're making and like add something like for sure. Like I don't own, like I don't buy sugar anymore. Like I don't buy that white bag. Oh, okay. I just like, when it calls for sugar, I'll either put a little bit of honey, but some meals I don't put any, like if it calls for it, I just, I won't put any, I'll just put honey, okay. right? Or I'll use like monk fruit is really good. So that doesn't really change. Like when sugar enters your body, it does all kinds of havoc. And so when yeah. you have these, you know, these alternatives, it's, it's a little bit better. Like honey still a little, it's a natural sweetener. So you just use a, like, not as much, but you use a little right. bit, right? Yeah. So there's so many great ways and alternatives to eating things that families yeah. like. Okay. Um, but I think right just right now is just keeping on that fit train, just being yeah. mindful of your food and your water. Right. And three, seven minutes. Like, yes. You in your front lawn, doing your kitchen. Like, right. Is, anywhere. Yeah. You could totally do it. Seven minutes. Yeah, seven minutes. Yeah, and I'll, I'll show you, like, my app My app has a seven minutes. My app has meals and stuff like that. And so, Perfect. Yeah, yeah. we'll check that out for sure. Send, up, send me the link, and I'll add it in here as well. Um, yeah, that was great. That was great information. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And, yeah, and I just – make sure you do a pH level test. It will – it surprises everybody. My, it, is, it surprised me when I did it because I was like, oh, man, I wonder what. Like, so if I don't fix this now, that means I'm going to have a lot of issues later. Right. Later on. <laughs> like, I don't want to have all these aches and pains. And yeah. We have to take care of our body now and so we don't get those. Right. Yeah. Like preventative, right? Like why should we be 60 or 70 in the hospital all the time trying to figure right. out what's wrong with us? You know, like, and I've been hearing a lot, like my husband's in the hospital, oh, whatever, like they can't figure out, they mm -hmm. can't figure out what's wrong with him. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't understand why they don't just say like, Hey, like drink more water. Hey, let's not eat too much junk food. <laughs> hey, right. how about we clean up your diet? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Everybody needs it. Yeah. Yeah. We don't, and we don't really think about it we don't, until, no. until it hits home and we're in the hospital. Right. Or, you know, or, you know, or just like, so we can prevent it. You know, it's preventative and we're at a stage where we can prevent it. We can, it's like, we can prevent these dietary, they call it dietary diseases, mm -hmm. right? Where back, back in the day, right? Like 1920s, like, even like right now, like the sickness, tuberculosis, blah, 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 what all the, whatever this is, doctors came in and gave medicine, right? Pills and like injections to help that illness. But now we have caused havoc on our bodies and it's called a dietary disease because it's a disease that's caused by what we eat and what we drink. Mm -hmm. And so now doctors and that now they're still doing the same, like creating a pill or creating something to fix that. And it's like, it's not the same, right? Like mm -hmm. high cholesterol, like, okay. So instead of telling him, Hey, you should like calm down on eating super high fatty foods. Like, you know, instead, here, take this, whatever, I don't even know what this high cholesterol medicine is, like, take this instead, right, right? so handing over a pill versus, say, clean your diet, and that pill could potentially cause more havoc in you, sure, mm -hmm. right, because there's side effects, and this and that, so it's, the, the, the thing just, just goes on and on and on, and so I'm just so, like, we can take control of what goes into our body, like, like, my brand is boss body, like, be the boss of your body, I love it. Yes. But like be the boss of your body. Nobody can, like, I can't tell you, like I can sit here and coach and preach and all that stuff, but like you got to be the boss yeah, of your totally. own body. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And like, especially right now, like, oh man, girl, you got time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't have time in the world. <laughs> yeah, no, for real. We do. Yeah, totally. <laughs> There's no excuses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right.